How's it going? Cody Brown here with Budget Astro giving you my absolute basic Pix Insight pre-processing tutorial. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to get from bare nothing to something to work with in Photoshop using Pix Insight. Let's start with the RGB image. First we're going to open up two instances of our RGB image into PixInsight. The reason why we do this is because one of the process we do, we do not want to undo, instead just complete it and move on. This process explorer, but we're not going to use that, instead we're going to go into all processes. First one we're going to open is screen transfer function. Oops, let me try that again. Next is histogram transformation. And the last is ACDNR. Those are the three processes we're going to need for the RGB image. And click on one of the images, then click the nuke button on the screen transfer function. Grab the arrow and bring that over to the histogram transformation on the bottom bar. It's very important. And you'll see the uh, histogram move. I unfortunately did not clear mine after doing the test. <laughs> then we're going to grab the arrow and bring that over to the second image. The second image is the one that we're using for this. The green bar right there means that you cannot save that over to Photoshop. The lack of a green bar means that we can. That's the importance of using the two images. Now ACDNR is a light, pol er, light pollution and noise reduction software. Just run that real quick by bringing the uh, little arrow over to the image. And all the processing in PixInsight is done for me. This is what I do. Every image that I use on PixInsight. I'm going to save it as a TIFF file. Which can be read by Photoshop. We're going to save it as a 16-bit TIFF. Remove the associated alpha channel. And leave all the other settings the same. Click OK. And that's it for that one. Let's move on to the three stage grayscale. Alright, so for the narrow band, I have already opened all the images that I need to open my hydrogen alpha, sulfur, and oxygen 3, plus an extra hydrogen alpha for the screen transfer function which I'm going to open right now. Then the histogram transformation, ACDNR, and then one more, which is the channel. Channel combination. That's how we're going to get from a grayscale image to a color image. So as before, we're going to nuke the hydrogen alpha image. I'm going to bring the arrow over to the histogram transformation. As you can see, it moved way up high. That's because these images are extremely dark. And we're going to take our three regular images place them out. We're going to use the channel combination now. For an RGB image, we're going to use hydrogen as red, the sulfur as green, not oxygen, sulfur, thank you, and blue, oxygen. Click OK. 
Then we're going to click the little circle here, which is Apply Global. We're going to bring over the histogram transformation onto it. And we have a beautiful RGB image. Apply the ACDNR. Now I'm just going to close this window and show you how to use the SHO palette, but normally you would just save as you did the last image. So for the SHO palette, all you need to do is switch the hydrogen alpha and the S2 images. the same thing apply global histogram transformation now since this nebula is mostly hydrogen alpha it's gonna be mostly green but you do get some of the blues and some of the reds from the sulfur as well I mean blues from the oxygen reds from the sulfur And that's just about going to cover it up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.